Hey, thanks for watching. Today we're gonna make a workspace logo sign that has a 3D look. It's gonna have raised letters, some bolts embedded flat. We're gonna give it a distressed look. It measures about 12 inches by 24 inches. So let's do it. So the sign is going to rest against the back backboard there. We're going to paint that black later. What I've done is I've already pre-cut some plank, about one and a half inches by quarter, I think is the size. And just need to cut the back support pieces. But next, what we're going to do is distress the wood. I still need to cut those pieces there. But we're going to distress the wood and the sign will eventually go right up against there. I used a drill and a wire wheel to give the, uh, the wood a distressed look. We're going to end up staying that here um, next. This is what the wood looks like after a given distress look with the wire wheel and drill. Want to put as many grooves in as possible so the stain will seep into those grooves. I'm going to apply some gray stain. I like to put a lot on. The more I saturate, the better because I want all that color to get in the grooves as possible. There, and we've completed the, um, the stain. Now it's time to glue the two back support pieces on. After staining the sign gray and letting it sit a little bit, now it's time to whitewash it. Except we're not using white, we're using black. So this is the final look after applying the gray stain as a base and taking black and whitewashing it with black gives it a nice distressed look, worn distressed look. Again when the sign is completed it's going to go along that back piece of wood there, it's going to be painted black. I printed out the letters on a laser printer. The letters are pretty large, so I had to put them out in sections. So I laid out the letters and also the bolts to give kind of a rough look of what the sign's gonna look like. Give kind of a visual representation of how I want it laid out. Now it's time to glue the letters onto the, onto the board. I used uh, 
quarter inch MDF because it cuts really easy. Going to use a um, scroll saw and a jigsaw. Cut out all the letters individually. That'll get us to the next step. After cutting the outside diameter of the, the letters, I um, still have some waste to remove inside the letters. For that, mm -hmm. drilled a couple mm -hmm. holes and uh, use a real thin blade to get in there and do it by hand. That'll remove all the waste on the inside of the letters and clean it up real nicely. Also with a, a tiny grinder um, to get all the debris um, out of the centers. The letters are all nicely detailed up. Looks nice and clean. Now it's time to paint the backboard black. We're getting closer to completion. What I'm doing now is lining up the letters and the bolts and how the bolts will lay in relation to the letters. I'm doing this by actually taping the bottoms of the bolts on the wood there to give it a pattern. So now I'll know where I'm going to route the holes for the bolts to lay into flesh. After routing the slots out for the bolts, time to test out the bolts. They fit nicely. And now it's a matter of actually cutting one of the bolts so it lays across nicely flush with the wood. And then we're gonna put a backing plate on that wood as well. That backing plate is gonna prevent the bolts from sliding all the way through. And it's actually gonna make the bolts lay flush with the top surface of the sign. But I want to stain the back of it black because when you're looking at the sign from the front, you don't want any white fresh wood showing from the front. So if it's all black, it'll look nice and nice and dark. So what I'm doing here is just marking the lines where I don't want the glue. Because when I lay the bolts in there, I don't want glue on the bolts just yet. Now I'm doing a quick layout to make sure everything looks good. Laying the bolts in the hole, they fit beautifully. Lay out the letters on the sign. See if there's any kind of issues. That way we can uh, glue the bolts down. And then next we'll glue the letters. One last step with the letters before we actually paint them and glue them down. I need to sand all the paper off the tops of the letters. So now it's time to paint the letters, get that out of the way. And we'll come back to it after painting. It's a bright white to make it pop. So now what we got to do is actually create some contrast with the sign by putting an upper and lower red trim on it. I have some old wood from a, a wine rack, a vintage wine rack that I've been cannibalizing for projects. 
So I'm trimming off some pieces here that are unusable. It's perfect size wood. As you can see, it's not flush, which is exactly what I want. It causes it to have more of a depth perception on it to correlate with the letters, the 3D looking effect. So I painted the, uh, the wood trim red. Now it's just a matter of gluing everything up, the upper and lower trim. And then we're gonna put the letters on and that's gonna wrap things up. Now we can finally glue the white letters on the top of the sign. After attaching the white raised letters to the sign, the workplace logo sign with 3D look has been completed. One of the segments I actually forgot to include in this video to help give that raised 3D effect on the letters is I painted the sides of the letters black um, all the way around and then I painted the surface white. It really helps it stand out. That way you're not having that MDF color for the sides of the letters. <laughs> 